Now a strange story. Officials say an Albany mother and daughter team are behind a big con using other people's identities to scam soda giant Coca-Cola. And now Coca-Cola says this duo may have cost them a whole lot of money. Point local six reporter Amy Frazier sorts out how it all went down. What a fascinating story here, Amy. Oh, it is, Jeff. Detectives say the women somehow got hundreds of winning codes for a Coca-Cola promotion where you look under the bottle cap to see if you're a winner. Coke believes the women used the scam to make as much as $200,000. Detectives say corporate investigators with Coca-Cola knew something was up when they noticed hundreds of wins in a bottle cap promotion coming from the same computer IP address in Albany, an address police tracked to the home of Sarah Jones and her mother, Carrie Jones. Coke suspects um, that they are out. They, they can attribute $200,000 of losses to her, to this particular IP address. Local police say they've been able to officially track about $40,000 going to bank accounts associated with the duo, a mother and daughter who detectives say were unemployed at the time of the scam. The Coke promotion ran from May to August of last year. Look under the cap, text the code, and find out if you're a winner. If you are, you email your code and receive a prize code to redeem for things like concert tickets or gift cards. To get around the rules about limited wins, police say the women manufactured email addresses using other people's identities. There were actual people's names used, very um, public figures, shall we say, names used um, as, as some of the names on these email addresses. Welcome to the White House. People like President Obama arrested Monday and released. No one answered the door at the women's home. Well, they get what they deserve. I mean, if you're going to stoop that low, you pay the price. Investigators say they don't know what the women used the money to buy or how they got so many winning cap codes. They say Coke is very interested, though, in finding the loophole. Now, instead of redeeming the prize codes, uh, say for something like concert tickets, detectives say the women were selling those prize codes to ticket brokers or online auction sites, of course, to make cash. Reporting for you, Amy Frazier, Coin Local 6. Amy, keep us up to date on this story. I want to know how they got all those winning codes.